it's time to take on one of the best creators in the game. Let's get messy. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Head to Head and this week we are taking on Omega Luke, one of the best creators in the, in, in the community. Rebuilds, his tactic stuff, wonder kids. He knows this game better than most. We're taking him on. The team is Monaco. And I'm worried. I, I mean, I, I was worried to begin with. I've seen his tactic now. I'm even more worried. So if you've not seen this before, me and Luke build a tactic for Monaco, one season sim. It's judged on points, goals scored, goals conceded, uh, shots on target, and XG. Whoever gets the most out of the five categories wins. Assistant manager, no picking teams, just a tactic. Roll it through once and we'll see what the results are. We'll show you guys some goals from each tactic. Uh, if I win, I will put the tactic on FM Scout. It's not becoming a... Uh, it's not it's not becoming a regular occurrence, put it that way. So let's get to the tactics. We'll start off with a mega look. Look, talk us through your tactic. I'm quite worried. Well, 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 Gib. First off, thank you for having me on. But I think you got your work cut out because I've actually taken on the task of Monaco this season already during a rebuild. Quite successfully too. So let's take a look at my tactic. This is a 4-2-3-1. And although the tactic is named Bill Bow, it is... I think perfect for the first season at Monaco. Uh, it is the tactic I use in the Bilbao rebuild and I think the reason for that when I was looking at Monaco's team, they have some unbelievable talent going forward and this is such an aggressive attacking tactic that it will hide the weaknesses that maybe Monaco have at the back and just utilize all of the positives that they have which is kind of these four here. Ben Yedda, Boadu, Golovin and Volland, they just score a lot of goals. Especially the likes of Volland coming in on that right-hand side on his very strong left foot. He has good long shots, good finishing ability. Not to mention his off, off the boys, teamwork, work rate, everything like that. I found this guy to be incredible for me. So I really like the use of him down that right-hand side cutting in. But this is the danger man, in my opinion, Golovin. As a shadow striker, I think he's going to be absolutely crucial. I think he's going to be working really well with Ben Yedda up top, a quality striker. Boadu is not as good as what he can potentially be later on, but he's good enough right now to get involved and get in some goals. So they are playing very aggressive and advanced forward, a shadow striker, two inside forwards on attack. And I'll show you the tactic instructions in a sec, which will complement how these, these four guys work up top. But the midfield engine room has too many and for Fana. These guys are really good, of course. Uh, so having a box-to-box -box midfielder who is going to bomb up and down the pitch or Aurelian Chuameni should be the main guy for that. We got Fofana, who obviously can be a big part in a deep line playmaker, but he can also defend too. The fullbacks are wing backs on automatic, but the mentality is attacking, so they will be quite aggressive going forward. And the centre backs. These guys, their only job is to just defend, as well as the goalkeeper too. So enough of that, let's take a look at the instructions. We are overlapping down the right and left. We're playing through the middle and out of defence. Uh, we're hitting those early crosses. Mixed crosses, because, hey, I think putting mixed crosses on when you're hitting early crosses is quite important. Although, obviously, Ben Yedda is like, what, 5'8", something like that, 5'7", 5 5'7", 7, 5 7, um, which is not too bad, to be fair. Playing for set pieces because we've got some big men further back when they go up and attack these set pieces. Slightly more direct, much higher tempo when we get the ball. We are being expressive too. We're never wasting any time. No, no, no. Let's take a look at in transition. We are gagging pressing, of course, and we're rolling. Well, we're not doing anything, but we are playing the ball to the fullbacks and the centre backs to start our attacks. And we are using the offside trap and tighter marking. Much high line of engagement, much high defensive line. We are squeezing the life out of our opponents through the trigger press and preventing the short goal kick distribution because I put my faith in our defence to win these headers. They are very tall, they're very strong, they're very quick. So if they do miss a header, they can obviously get back and help. And we're getting stuck in as well. We might see a lot of yellow cards. We maybe even pick up a few red cards. But I think this tactic that I used for the Bilbao rebuild was so good at squeezing the life out of opponents that it hit the weaknesses. And I think it will do exactly the same thing here for Monaco. So best of luck, Gib. I hope you do well. And thank you very much, everybody, to watching. Let's have a look and see how we do. Back over to you. Thank you so much 
to look for being on uh, being on the channel, being on head to head. If if you if you're not already subscribed to Luke, where where you been? What are you doing? Go subscribe to Luke. Check him out on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, all those good things. I am worried about his tactic. Uh, the instructions, squeezing the life out of teams, the attacking. Because, uh, right, let's show you some goals. Let's run it through and I'll show you the results of Luke's bull battle tactic. If you guys have ever sim before, depending on what view you use, you can see the scores, you can see the position, and for most of it, Monaco were second. I was like, well, but they've done well. Maybe they've not done too well. I was wrong. Monaco comes second in the league with ninety nine points. I mean, that been the, that been the most to win at some point. I'm pretty sure they're no, they're not in the Champions League final. They've been knocked out. Okay, in the league path. Whew. Uh, yes. 99 points, not a bad start. 94 goals scored, 39 conceded, pretty good as well. Uh, this is not looking good for me, is it? Expected goals of 97.63. Like this, this would win the league in most places completely. And shots on target, 388, the most in league on. Wow. Let's just look at the individual players to give you an idea of what this tactic does. So Ben Yedder, 43 goals, Boadu, 22 and 13, Volwin, 17 and 15, Luke talked about these two doing really well, Golovin with 26 assists, he was the SS wasn't he, or DLP, it uh, depends where they played him, where did they play, plays, plays DLP mostly, wow 18 assists is massive, uh, 11 from Sophie and Diop, 2.47 goals per game, 23.24 shots, oh Jesus God. Okay, this is not this is not going to go well for me, is it? I really should go first in my tactic and then I maybe won't be as disappointed. Because when I do this, I look at the squad, who are the best players, how do we get the best out of them, and fit them all in. This is what I've gone for. It's a little bit out there. But pressing forward, advance forward, Volland and Ben Yedder. Get them in the scoring positions. And then it's this down the left here. So... Golovin, as a wide playmaker, 15 passing, he's got the physicals, mentals are all there. He will come inside there, onto his right foot. So he'll essentially be playing there. We've then got Kyle Henrique to bomb up and down the left flank, with Buadu coming inside. You can see how it makes sense. We've got uh, Chiumeni going up and down, just bombing in there. And then we've got the inverted wing back to sit there. So you've kind of got a four and a three and you'll get wood from the fullbacks. You can see in my head the shape works. The shape is like, I don't know if it's going to work. You've kind of got that there. He'll go wide. You've got Martins bombing up there, getting balls in. Bladder's coming inside. In my head it all makes sense. I've gone for shorter passing, higher tempo. I'm playing wide because I want them to focus the ball out wide. Wide doesn't mean the player's start wider it means they look to play the ball wide it's actually the direction you're passing rather than the width there's a really good video on fm scout uh, about the, the sort of science behind it i'll try and I'll, I'll find it i'll put the link on there i thought this was the case already i did some tests on my own but this is about the width that your players play with not the width that they start with position wise pass into space be more expressive uh this is where i'm trying I don't want to counter press because I think having that sort of sh the, the the lack of numbers in midfield, the counter press might just take away that. Maybe but I, I'm sometimes thinking too much into actual football, not the game. Could be an issue. So countering only, force an opposition outside to be compact. Play with the offside trap and playing standard, so it just squeezes a little bit. Not going full line of engagement. Pressing more often. Uh, yeah. Let's well, show you some highlights, and we'll see how my tactic got on. Please. I don't believe in God, but someone, FM Gods, please.
Now, when you see this screen, that's never a good thing. This means you've been sacked. Available jobs. You got sacked at the end of the season for finishing third. Like, third isn't awful. When, when Luke gets 99 points and we get 74, 71, it's awful. We didn't score as many, 77, we have conceded more, so that means that Luke has won. Congratulations, Omega Luke. Did we win anything? I'm not gonna. I mean, he, he had the most shots on target in the league. We did not. Fifth, 256 is shocking. Expected goals, I mean, PSG less than Monaco did. I mean, we're second in expected goals at 73. So maybe it's not, maybe it's not as dreadful as, it's pretty bad. Ben Yedder scored 43 goals. There's something there. Golovin got 25 assists. There's something there. Martins, 12 assists. Uh, Diata with 10. Guadu, 18 and 9. Volan, 20. Like, the building blocks are there or something. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the way Luke plays in terms of the aggression with this tactic, with this shape. I think there's something there. But anyway, you will see the graphic on the screen right now and not me crying. Luke has won 5-0. This is another 5-0 win. So if you're the creator and you want to look good, come on head-to-head -head with your tactic and beat me. It seems to be what's happening now. I will put the link to Luke's Bilbao rebuild. I imagine he's got the tactic for this on there as well. Thank you so much for taking part, Luke. Really appreciate it. Go check out Luke's stuff. He's amazing. Guys, if, you, if you're enjoying this, like the video. Let me know who you want to see on the channel. Uh, it means a lot to get these guys to come on. Please subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this. We're we winding down FM22. Check out the Andover Let's Play. We're near the end of that as well. We've got something else coming up. So until next time, for me, Andrew, thanks for watching. Bye for now.